guess just throw all your stuff up on the conveyor belt like everybody else does. Yeah, okay. Well, while you do that, I'll start scanning. Uh, and just give me a second or two because it might sound a little bit strange, but I do like to look at the food that people buy as they come through. It's probably weird, but I feel like you really get a sense to know somebody and what they're like when you see what they buy at the store. But anyway, none of that matters. Campbell's chicken and stars. Oh, you know what? This is really gross. Um, well, it brings back some childhood memories of mine. I used to really like the chicken in the stars, but I used to like it in the drinkable kind. Not this. This kind tastes gross, and the chicken's nasty, and, and I even like canned chicken, so this is just a no for me. Plus, let's look at, let's see how much sodium. Oh. 790 milligrams of sodium in this one can, and you're going to consume that? kind, the buttermilk. Ew. Luckily, you got the cinnamon roll kind. I like that kind as well. And I like that it has the syrup chips in it. Because if it didn't, it would be dry. And that would just be disgusting. Let's look at the nutrition facts on here. Oh, 290 milligrams of sodium. You know why? All those preservatives that they keep in here. And you know what? You're buying it. Okay, well, you know, I don't mean to be rude, but it's just the honest truth. Can't get mad at me for telling the truth. What'd you say? We are here? You, you don't want to be here right now? You have the audacity to tell me that you don't want to be here? I don't even want to be here. Do you see this? I'm not even a cashier. I work in the bakery. They got me up here doing this. So don't talk to me about not wanting to be here, baby, because uh, you have no idea. So just stop. Just let me finish checking you out and you can be on your way. You know what? I tried this corn here from the Simple Organic, Simple Truth Organic. It tasted nasty. So good luck. Best of luck to you. Best of luck. I mean, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You can always add some salt. Not too much. I mean, from the looks of it, it does look like you like the things with a bit more sodium. But, you know. I only cooked at a restaurant for four years. What do I know? Oh, some more sodium. And how much is on here? Oh, great. 720 milligrams in this one. But, 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 I will give you credit because you got the beef flavor and I happen to like beef the best. I don't know if you know. You might not know. But at one point, there was a roast beef flavor. Did you ever get your hands on that? Oh, so good, am I right? Of course I'm right. I'm always right. I'm just glad you got beef. Any other flavor would be a no-go for me. Sometimes they're not even chicken. Okay, we got some Kraft macaroni and cheese. Frozen two. Haven't seen one or two. So let's wrap this up real quick. Okay. Oh, 
great. Some more noodles. And here's the real question. Do you microwave yours? Or do you cook them on the stove? Or how do you make them? This is gonna determine everything. Oh, you do? Okay, good. Personally, I prefer the buttermilk, not the extra light and fluffy, but I know we're out of the buttermilk right now because I looked earlier too. Yeah, I don't know, everybody likes that one. Oh, finally, something that we can agree on. Famous Amos cookies? I get them. Let me see, you got the bite size. Okay, good. Oh, good. I was hoping that she weren't gonna get the ones with the walnuts in them. I don't like that. And how many cookies do you usually eat at once? You know the serving size is four. So you should keep it to about that. Especially if you're gonna eat those other snacks too, like the ramen noodles, the soup. Keep this at a minimum, you know? I'm not a dietitian. I'm not a... I'm nothing. But hey, just watch yourself. That's all I'm trying to say. Just watch yourself, you know? Okay. Paper towels. That is great. Sheets, top absorbing, satisfaction guaranteed. And what happens if you're not satisfied? No, you're not gonna bring them back here because we can't help you. If you're not guaranteed, look, it says, how does this say? Satisfaction guaranteed, see back panel. Mm -hmm. Don't believe us, try roll. And if you aren't satisfied, we'll give you your money back. Well, this is Kroger. And this is not Kroger. So you're gonna have to call them. Don't come back here with these. Alright, a couple more things. Oh my god. More? What kind is this? Doesn't look like it has um, the cardboard thing. Did you take it off? Somebody else? Okay. Um, okay, whatever. Oh, I see it. It's here on top. Beef flavor. I'm moving as quickly as I can. I apologize for any inconvenience. Like I said, this is not my department. I really don't care to be trained. You know, so let me tell you the story. What happened is, everybody called off sick. Or not even sick, they just called off. I don't know. And I was in the back making cakes. They called me on the loudspeaker talking about come up here to the front registers. And then they said, well, if you want, we can put you on for, with someone for a few minutes, let you get back used to what you're doing, because it's been months, you know. When you first start working here, you have to get on the register and learn that, and then you can move to the different departments. So I was like, okay, I get to come up here, and she says, yeah, if you want, you can be with, oh, oh, she says, yeah, I need you to run register. I said, what? Huh? So anyway, try to summarize the story here. Come up to the front of the registers and she says, yeah, 
If you want, we can put you on with someone for a couple minutes, let you get back into the groove of things. Because I haven't been on Register in months. And I was like, um, no, I really don't care that much about this job. So I was like, just put me on the register. And I remember. Well, I don't really remember everything. So I'm kind of just going about it slowly. And I'm talking to you because in my head I'm thinking, mm, don't mess this up. Because earlier, let me scan this as I tell you what happened earlier. <laughs> earlier, make sure that idiot isn't anywhere around. Tell me how my boss gets mad at me because I accidentally, literally accidentally, put two orders on the same wick check. Um, I don't know how it happened. I thought I was running the check normally. And then, honestly, I think the customer knew that I didn't know what I was doing, and she took me for granted. She took advantage of the situation. She gave me the same checks, talking about run, it, run this one again. I was like, okay, whatever. So I'm sure I'll be getting fired over that. My boss said something like, oh, this is your last strike. Come on now. It's not that deep. I was like, it was never that deep. Why are you so mad about it? Like, it was honestly a mistake. Do you know what I mean? Like, what would you have done if you were my manager? You don't know. Well, it can be corrected. You just have to sign on this little handheld device thing for, like, the whole store. And, like, correct it somehow. But the point is, it was never that deep. That's the whole story. Okay. Oh! I'm surprised you got your hand on some of these. You're gonna need them for that snotty nose that's gonna be coming. Oh, I hope not. How about all this talk of the coronavirus and everything? Got me miserable. I don't wanna be here, like I said, and then I still have to work. And I don't wanna be here. But, as long as everything stays clean, wash your hands. I washed my hands with hand sanitizer and soap. And when you get home, you better wash your hands, too. With soap for at least 20 seconds. You don't look like you wash your hands very much. Yeah. I see the dirt under those nails. But, we're not gonna keep talking about that virus because it's not welcome here. Quick question. Do you want to do a quick little skit? Why not? It'll be fun. When? When did I insult you? Please, it was about the sodium, really. You know, I'm gonna say kind of the same thing as I told my manager. It was never that deep. Why are you so upset? Okay, well, look, let's do a funny skit. It'll make you feel better. So look, pretend, pretend I'm a cop, and I'm going through your car. Do, 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 do. Oh, what do we have here? 100% caca. What do you do with that? I'm just kidding. It was stupid. Well, you're stupid. Oh my god. Let me get you out of this store. If you don't be nice to me, you're being very rude. No. If you don't be nicer, you lower your voice, you're a bit loud. If you don't be nicer, I'll have security escort you off the premises. What did you call me? You say go. Did you say go back to the bakery? You know what? Any other time, I would be bundling my fist up to bust your head open for saying that, something like that about me. But I've been being a better person lately, so you know what? Let me just get you cashed out so you can get out. Okay, 
it's going to be 3960 cash or card no um well i do have a check reader but i'm really not in the mood because like i said haven't been up here much lately so I'd rather not ask for help can you just pay with cash or card please okay card go ahead and over here's your groceries everything bagged so come around pick them up you're welcome okay good here take your receipt don't get your stuff and you have a wonderful 